Shalom and welcome to Simple Biblical Hebrew. I'm Eric Modal, and today we want to continue our study of the Sermon on the Mount in Biblical Hebrew. We're working from Franz Delich's Hebrew translation of the New Testament from the Greek manuscripts, which he produced in the 1800s. And last time we left off at verse 17. And Yeshua said, Do not think that I came to abolish the law or the prophets. I did not come to abolish, but to fulfill. For truly I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or stroke shall pass from the law until all is accomplished. Whoever then annuls one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever keeps and teaches them, he shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say to you that unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and the Pharisees, you shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. Adonai Safetai Tiftach Ufi Yagid Tehiletecha. Lord, open my mouth that my lips may declare your praise. So here we see it in the Hebrew. And let's see what Jesus said in Hebrew. And then we'll make some comments along the way, particularly concerning Torah. I'd encourage you to subscribe to this channel. If you think this is uh, a blessing for you, and then um, if you think this might be a help for others, it would definitely help if you'd like this video because YouTube pushes it up on their search engines and it will reach more people. But here we are then in verse 17 in the Hebrew, and Yeshua says, Al tach shevu. Al tach shevu. That means do not. Al is don't in Hebrew. And then is uh, don't you think. Chashav is the shorish or the root, and it means to, to think. So tachshevu is you think. Al tachshevu, don't you think. Ki, which would be that in this case. Vati. Vati is that I have come. Ba in Hebrew is to come. And then the, the T is sort of that I have come. Bati. Le chaper. Chaper is the Hebrew word for to, to break, or in this case to abolish. Et. Ha Torah. So Torah is the word here, and we know that word. It's the law. So Yeshua says, Don't think that I came to 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 break or to abolish the, the Torah. In in Hebrew, it's Torah. Law in English or nomos in Greek is not really a good translation of this Hebrew concept. And Yeshua being the the most famous Jewish rabbi in history, whether you're a believer in Yeshua as a Mashiach or, or not, he's definitely uh, Jewish and he's the most famous Jew and the most famous Jewish rabbi in history. And there's a lot of misunderstandings about him in our times, particularly amongst our Jewish friends that Yeshua came to do away with Torah, which is the most important thing in Judaism. But on the contrary, and here we can see him teaching what he taught, he said that he did not come to abolish Torah. So law is not really a good translation in English because Torah does not mean law in Hebrew. It means its, its root is yara, which means to, to shoot an arrow or to, um, to teach. It's, it's the way to go. Torah is the way of God. It's the way that he wants his people to go. In different generations, he had different Torahs for his people according to what he had revealed to them. 
Certainly for the Jewish people living in the land, he had the Torah of Moses and Moshe. And you can read in Deuteronomy 4 where he gave specifically the Torah of Mo Moses to the Jewish people uh, as a federal law system when they lived in the land of Israel. But he had Torah before the Torah of Moses. In fact, if we look at Genesis chapter um, 26, verse 5, when Hashem is talking to Isaac, to Isaac, and saying, I'm going to be with you. If you see here in verse 4, I will multiply your descendants as the stars of heaven, and I will give your descendants all the lands. And by your descendants, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed, because Abraham obeyed me, and he kept my charge and my commandments, my statutes and my laws, my Torah. We can see here in, in Hebrew, Akeb, which means because, Asher Shema, Avraham, because Abraham heard, Bekoli, my, my voice, Veishmor, Mishmarti. He kept my, my, uh, my charge. Mitzvotai, my commandments. Chukotai, my statutes. Ve Torotai, my laws. There's Torah. There's that word Torah. So 400 years before the Torah of Moses, Abraham was keeping the Torah of God. It was the way of God. God has a Torah for his people. He has certain ways that he desires his people to live. He has a Torah for marriage. He has a Torah for money. He has a Torah for different things. He has a Torah for Israel when they live in the promised land. That's not for the goyim, for the nations. And it's the way that he wants his people to go. And so back to Yeshua then. He did not come to, to abolish the Torah, the Torah of God, the Torah of Moshe in this instance is, is specifically what he's talking about is he's talking to the Hebrew people. He did not come to do away with it, as is commonly said of him. O, which is or, et divre, which is uh, the words, ha nevi'im, of the prophets. He did not come to abolish the Torah or the words of the prophets, the rest of the Tanakh. Lo vati la hafer ki im le milot. He says, I did not come to, to break it, but to ki'im, which is, but to le, le melot, to, to fill it. Mela in Hebrew is to, to fill something. And so Yeshua did not come to replace it. There's mala to fill. He came to fill up Torah. I preached on this message recently uh, at our church in San Diego, and I will try to remember to put that message in the description below if you'd like to hear me comment on this more. But Yeshua fills up Torah, and he's going to tell us how he fills up Torah. He does not take away from it, but he fills it up. He completes it. He walks in the way of God. So Torah is the way of God. It's the way that he wants his people to live. It's not legalism, but it's the way he points for us to go. And that way can't be done away with. But ultimately, it leads us to Mashiach, leads us to Yeshua. But for now, Yeshua did not come to, to do away with it, to abolish it, but to fill up Torah. Key for Amen, Amen in, in English. For I say to you truly, Ki Amen, truly, Omer, I say, Ani Lachem, Ani is sort of me, or I, Lachem is to you, Ad, or until, Ki Ya Avru, until passes, Av. Aber in Hebrew means to sort of to pass over. So, ya avru hashemaim, 
that's the heavens. Shemaim is heaven, so Hashemaim is the heavens. Be Haaretz, that's the earth. Aretz is earth, so Va or Ve Ha is and the Aretz. Lo Fa Avor, which is will not pass away. Yod Achat, so Achat is one, and this is the letter Yod, the smallest letter in the Hebrew alphabet. So Yeshua says, "Now, not until heaven and earth pass away will 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 even a Yod pass away from Torah, the smallest letter in the Hebrew alphabet, O, which is or Kotz, and Kotz is a thorn in Hebrew." And it refers to sometimes when you see a Torah scroll and it has very fancy sort of horns, you can sort of see um, a horn right, if I can show you here, right there on that zadi. I don't know if you see the little embellishments on that zadi. That's a coats, that's a horn. So, Yeshua says not even one letter will pass away from Torah, or even the embellishments that the scribes have put on the letters. None of that will pass away from Torah. And here is Achad, which is one again. So this, this is um, one, Achad, and this is one, Achad. Same, same thing just with the, the last letter being a little different. Min, ha Torah, from, Min is from, and then Torah again, there's Min, from, ha Torah, the Torah, ad asher, until, yaase, hakal, until all is accomplished. So asher is sort of until, Ya'ase, which is Ya'as in Hebrew is to do. And so in this case, it's until everything is done. Hakal is sort of everything. And Ad is until. Lachen, which is therefore me which is who, a share, whoever, ya fair, breaks, a chat, which is one, mean, ha mitzvot, whoever breaks one mitzvot, which is a commandment, ha ketanot, which is even the smallest mitzvot, katan in Hebrew, small, Ha'ela, which is from one of these. Vachin, and also Yalamed, teaches. Lamed is to teach. Et b'nei ha'adam, and teaches the sons of men. B'nei is sons. Ha'adam is of man, of the man, literally. But sons of men. Katon, which is small. We saw katon, katan here in, in, in the verse previously. And here's katon, small again. Yikare, yikare means will be called, or he will be called. Yikare, be machut hashamayim, in the kingdom of heaven. But asher ya ase. The Lamed Otan, so that is whoever, whoever, Asher, Yaase, does the Lamed and teaches Otan, them, Ku, or he, Gadal, which is great, Ikare, will be called. Be Malchut in the kingdom Hashemayim. Ki for Ani, which is I, 
Omer lachem, I say to you. Omer is to say, lachem to you. Im lo tirbe zitkatchem, so unless your righteousness surpasses, Rav is the Shoresh here, and it means to be great, or, or in this case, to surpass. So, im is sort of, unless no passes or becomes greater, zitkat chem, which is your righteousness, because zedaka zitkat, is righteous, and then chem is your plural. Zitkat chem. Mi zidkat, which is also the, the righteousness, ha so farim, which is the scribes, book in Hebrews, safer, and you can see the root right there, so that's scribes, those who write the books, so farim, they, and ha parushim, the Pharisees. Lo tavo'u al muchot hashamayim. And that is, no, or you won't enter. Ba in Hebrew is, is to enter. Tavo, you enter. Al muchot hashamayim. You won't enter into the kingdom of heaven, or something like that. So Jesus is not saying that necessarily the scribes and the Pharisees were bad, but they had come into a system in first century AD of Judaism where just doing religious things was enough to please God is what the, the scribes and the Pharisees were teaching the people at the time. And Yeshua was really against that. He never said that the Torah was bad. What he said that 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 has been misunderstood is that the Torah was meant to be done from the heart. Elohim wants to write his Torah on, on, on the hearts of his people. And he says, Shema Israel Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Ahavta et Adonai Elohecha. You shall love the Lord your God. That's, that's Torah. Not that we simply well, wash our hands, but that when we wash our hands, ritualistically we do it because we love god and that was important not that the washing itself cleanses us but it's our love for god and our desire to be holy in his sight that cleanses us so yeshua again loved torah taught torah did not abolish torah and the idea in our days that he came to abolish torah is not the case now we gentile Christians are not called to do the Torah of Moshe, not, not all of them. We are called to do the Ten Words, the Ten Commandments, but, but all of the laws for the, the Israelites when they lived in the land aren't necessarily for us, although we can learn from them. But those were particularly the ways of Adonai for his people, his Jewish people in the land. But nevertheless, God has Torah for all people on earth to love him, to seek to be holy in his sight, to obey his, his words the best way we know how, because we love him, not because of um, legalism, but because of love. That's the Torah of God. Well, I hope maybe you listen to uh, the message uh, that, that uh, we gave a few weeks ago. And again, I'll post that below. But um, we're, we're called to fill up Torah. We're called to live it out, to walk in it the best way we know how. And that's what Yeshua taught. So I hope that's an encouragement for you today. I pray that the Lord will bless you. Shem Yeshua. Amen.